It's time for PopCon. Are you excited? I'm excited. The new conservative faction, PopCon, popular conservatism, headed up by, ironically, the least popular conservative in the last decade, Liz Truss. Now, Britain is full of secret conservatives, people who agree with us but don't want to admit it because they think it's not acceptable in their place of work, it's not acceptable at their school. Have you ever wondered why these opinions are not popular, Liz? Have you ever stopped and thought, I wonder why people are ashamed to have these conservative views? Um, maybe because the majority of working people, the majority of average Joes like us, are not really too keen on giving massive tax breaks to multi-millionaires and giving all our tax money to cut tax for those up above. The majority of people, funny enough, are not really that fond of that and actually think that if you hold those sort of beliefs, then you're quite selfish. So no wonder people are not too keen on expressing these type of views. We need to communicate and show how people's lives will be improved by these policies. Too much time is spent talking about personality issues in the Westminster bubble. That's not what people want to hear. What people want to hear is how are we going to help them make their own lives better? How are we going to help make Britain more successful? Yes, Liz, tell us, how are you going to make the country better? Because when you're actually in the position to make this country better, i.e. Prime Minister of the UK, probably the best position that you could be in to make this country better, uh, you've done the complete opposite and made it 10 times worse by bringing forward a policy of when the country is in utter debt, government borrowing, government debt at record numbers, your policy, what you wanted to bring forward was hundreds and hundreds of millions of more borrowing. <laughs> And not to actually do anything useful with, not to actually do things that would actually boost the economy, like sorting out NHS waiting times, getting people back to work to pay tax, or sorting out public transport so people aren't missing days at work, they're getting into work, they're paying tax, or homelessness, getting people off the street, getting their lives back together, and, and making them tax-paying, valuable members of society. You weren't going to do any of those things with the money that you borrowed, no. You were going to give it to millionaires. <laughs> You're going to give massive tax cuts to multi-millionaires. Oh, God. Do you think we're idiots, Liz? Do you think we're absolute morons that we're going to fall for this rubbish? Now, that is the whole point of this new conservative faction, popular conservatism. They know that we're not going to line up in our droves to go and vote for this nonsense. Average Joes like me and you, average workers, are not going to line up to go and vote for massive tax cuts for the rich. That's why they have their other policy, the carrot on the stick policy. They're going to get rid of woke. Whether it's what's going on in our schools and the fact that wokeism seems to be on the curriculum and in our universities and in our corporate sector, there seems to be confusion about basic biological issues like what is a woman. That's the carrot on the stick. They draw you in with the anti-woke stuff, the anti-immigrant stuff, and they go, um, oh, by the way, folks, we're, we're going to do, don't worry, we're going to do all that anti-woke, we'll get rid of the woke stuff, we'll get rid of the boats, all that stuff, but we are just going to give, like, tons of your tax money to multi-billionaires. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to give them massive tax cuts. Oh, uh, really? Oh, that don't sound too good. You're going to get get rid of the boats, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll get rid of the boats. Don't worry, we'll get rid of the boats. Oh. And you're going to stop the pronoun thing. Yeah, yeah, we're going to stop the pronoun thing. Just let us give your money to the millionaires and we'll, we'll sort out the boats. Don't worry. <laughs> stop falling for this rubbish. Please, don't. People of Britain, stop falling for this absolute tripe. They're fishing you in. They're trying to get you in with the woke stuff. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Do you honestly think that these people have your best interests at heart. 30p Lee Anderson that reckons, don't worry about the cost of living crisis, everyone just needs to learn how to make meals for 30p. What we do at the food bank, we show them how to cook uh, cheap, cheap and nutritious meals on a budget. We can make a meal for about 30 pence a day. Have you ever tried? Have you ever tried to make a meal for 30p? I went one step into the supermarket and failed instantly when my first ingredient, broccoli, was 79 pence. Or Jacob Rees-Mogg, 
do you honestly think Jacob Rees-Mogg has your best interests at heart when the government were talking about where we should cut tax he didn't go do you know what let's cut tax where it will really help people things like utility bills or, or even petrol and, and things like that you know where it would really affect and really help working people no he wanted to cut tax on inheritance tax of course so his uncle in somerset when he leaves him his house he's going to get 100 percent of the profits from it and you would like to see that money that was spent on hs2 go straight into tax cuts yeah i think that would be a very good idea i mean i think you could use that money to get rid of inheritance tax for example do these pe you you honestly think these people care about you and have your best interests at heart? And then of course Liz Truss, Liz Truss, who has spent her whole career just chasing power. She doesn't have honest political beliefs. She goes where the wind goes. She started off life as a Lib Dem, as a Liberal Democrat, and then when the Brexit referendum came along, she was a staunch Remainer, absolutely campaigned staunchly for Remain. When that didn't work out, suddenly she's a Brexiteer. Brexit is great. Look at the opportunities. And then when Boris Johnson lost his job, she sniffed the opportunity for the big job and she just done whatever the opposite of Rishi Sunak is. She doesn't believe in any of the things that says. You can see it in the speech that she's saying. She doesn't actually care about this stuff. She just goes where she thinks that she can gain power. Now, Honestly, guys, please just don't fall for this trap. We're better than this. We're, we're more intelligent than falling for the likes of Jacob Rees-Mogg, Liz Truss, that try and tell us that the way that we deal with our problems, the way that we can finally pay our bills and get ourselves out of this economic mess is more unregulated capitalism. More and more unregulated capitalism. Because that's exactly what we need right now. Oh, God. And anyone that falls for this stuff, there are people that fall for this stuff, but the majority of us, people you guys view it, I know that you're more intelligent than this, but people do fall for this. They'll watch the odd Peter Schiff, Joe Rogan podcast where he comes on and tells us that all America needs is more unregulated capitalism because, yeah, unregulated capitalism is really working out well for America right now, isn't it? Dire poverty, dire homelessness health crisis no health care for the poor gun laws kids being shot every single day do you want that for britain do you want more unregulated capitalism no fuck off jacob Bismarck. fuck off liz trust and lee anderson piss off we're more intelligent than this if you enjoyed the video click a like if you haven't subscribed you can subscribe up top there'll be another video there you can check that out as well till next time take care